All right, looks like we're going here. Um, yeah, pretty much running back the same list I played the challenge today, but I'm going to try a second Grim Flare in the main deck. I was pretty happy with it. Um, also going to change one pulse for the Ghost Quarter I had. The Ghost Quarter I only won against Tron, and I don't know. Hey, Ace, what's going on? I only want the Ghost Quarter against Tron, so that's just too narrow. So I decided to sub in a pulse because that's also good against Tron. I don't want to try out two of these guys today. I, I played one today in the challenge, and I was really happy every time I drew it. I don't think you ever traverse for it because it's not nearly as potent as, like, the eight heavy hitters. But just having this is, like, just two more threats in the fast format's nice, and it just makes the rages better. So we're going to jump into it quick, get a league in tonight. And I'll probably be up to stream this during the... Uh, for the PTQ tomorrow. <clears throat> I got wrecked this morning before the Modern Challenge, and it, like, scared me because I played against four Tron decks here. Let me grab my computer glasses because it is bright out here. Gotta protect my nice little eyes. I would like to play first and we we gotta ship this one even though we don't like I do like having two threats I guess we get two redraws out of fetch land Fetch land gets me breeding pool. All of my fetch lands except blood crypt gets me breed or blood stain Mire gets me breeding pool. God, not having anything to do on turn one in this deck is not very good. I don't think we're going to ship it. All right, this hand is better, but still has its flaws. Put this on the bottom. Let's hope we hit a second land. Get an overgrown tomb because over always fetch the green source here, the black green on one. Let's you cast all of your discard spells, and if you only have one land, it allows Traverse to be a land drop. Oh. Ensnaring Bridge is bad. I think we're going to get rid of this Ensnaring Bridge. We're going to get rid of, ens well, Ensnaring Bridge and Lilian are pretty bad. But I've only got like one way to deal with Ensnaring Bridge in my deck. Yeah, I mean, either way, we're in trouble. We need to make sure to draw after sideboard. Got uh, 16th, I got 18th in the challenge today, Nate. Streamed for like six hours today. You want to run this back in the PTQ? I punted against Tron, and I punted against uh, whatever it was. Punted against Titan Shift to go 5-2, and two, which was sad. Probably the only two play bad plays I made the whole the whole, uh, whole day. Better lucky than good. Get Watery Grave, and just pray to God my opponent doesn't rip a small I guess I would have to rip... Smallpox, and then I have to get Smallpox and land. There's the Muta Vault. So now he thought he's my stub, probably. I would love to draw another stub or a discard spell. The Rack.
My opponent's going to get my last card. Well, if one's good, two's hopefully they don't hit a land. They can only cast Raven's Crime. It's a pretty inefficient use of their turn. What I need is another threat. Just something. All right, so that, that was the one card we didn't know. So if we if we get a red source, we're just going to cast this team or battle rage on this. Again, we're going to do this now in case we hit our next stub, which we're going to have to hit a stub, or my opponent's going to be able to eat this thing, which we didn't, but Grim Flare's pretty much the next best draw. Only deals one. And it doesn't matter. We're going to lose both of our cards anyways, and playing Grim Flare is better than better than not. I'm assuming that the after the sideboard I'm going to want the white the Lingering Souls in my deck. I might want Stubs in my deck too, but I know that for sure I'm going to want Lingering Souls. So my opponent can empty my hand six ways to Sunday here. Which sucks is that unless we draw a creature, we do have to attack my this Liliana. But if we draw another creature, I might just do the one that he knows. They probably ditched their wrench mind. Yeah. Shrieking Affliction. Okay. I think that kills me, right? Because this is... Loses three... Yeah, so we're just dead. Got to make sure to draw on this matchup, or this round. So I think I'm going to cut red and just be like Sultai with white. I don't think I need the team or battle rage. Begin sideboarding here. Because we want this. I think we want this. And I think we want these. I think this is what we want. I know we don't want rages, which means we can cut the blood crypt. Probably can ditch our own Lilianas. Yeah, eight whack for sure. Ditch our own Lilianas and probably a fatal push. I could, I guess I could have Ancient Grudge in my deck, which kills the Rack and Bridge, which I'm a little more excited about. Yeah, so I guess we're going to put the red back in. Get rid of an, get rid of an Overgrown Tomb. Cut these, bring this in. I'll keep the Dismember in because it might be able to like supercharge my draw. I don't think the team or battle rage is really where we want to be. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. Uh, I would like to draw first. 
and we will keep this hand. Opponent's like, what? I think half the reason this deck is good is because if you think about it, if you could play a deck in modern where you would win the die roll every time, your deck's going to be amazing, right? And this guy wins the die. This deck wins the die roll every single time. We'll keep this because we want to keep any hand that we can against this deck. Last thing that you want to do is mulligan. Um, probably can just get rid of this dismember. We'll play out this land because it's the worst one. If my opponent smallpoxes us. All right, we'll get rid of Shrieking Affliction. Because we have a Maelstrom Pulse and we have Ancient Grudge. Hey, Radio, how's it going? Ooh. Probably get rid of Traverse. That's my opponent drew. Traverse and Watery Grave. Okay. Now this goes and gets Breeding Pool. You missed it today. We, we uh, streamed the Modern Challenge. It was a good time. Went five and two. Oh. Well, at least we're going to be able to get one of these. Or get one of the racks. I played uh, this deck pretty close. They should just play out both racks. Oh, they're going to get discard this. So I'll play both the racks next turn. All right, that's a good draw. So I should attack with Grim Flare first to know what I've got going on because this doesn't give me Delirium. My opponent's last two cards. So we can mill over the Grudge. I actually can just mill over all of these, I think. Because now we've got answers to both halves of this rack. And our Grim Flare is huge. I played one... So I cut a Stubborn Denial for a Grim Flare. And then changed the Ghost Quarter for a Maelstrom Pulse. And that was... Now we have the same list. Okay, so there's a rack. Oh, I have six. I could have saved myself some damage. Again, I'm going to see what's coming before we do anything. I guess we can take the stubs. So let's put these in the graveyard. Put this on top. Take the bridge. And then pass and make sure to hit this before we untap. Yeah, it was a good stream. I, I lost to Tron and I lost to Scape Shift. And it was all my fault pretty much. Like I just made some mistakes. I kind of want to keep this around because I can race it. And I really don't want my opponent to land an ensnaring bridge. Yeah, I kind of want to leave this in blood because I'm beating, I'm winning this race. Yeah, I think we're just going to like let this stay in play because I, I just really just don't want to get, I guess I'm not winning this race. Uh, 
All right. There's some juice. So Traverse for Death Shadow. I think I'm just going to uh, draw Tarma, draw Tarma Wife next turn. Mill over Lingering Souls. I'm just going to pass again. Like I want to be able to snipe a smallpox. My opponent's probably playing Abrupt Decay. If I had to assume that's what this was. This splash is. Okay, so Tarmogoyf is still going to be, I guess I hit this, play Tarmogoyf, my opponent needs to go land and ensnaring bridge, so yeah, we'll just get this off the table. The Grim Flare did work there. Yeah, wife's out of town, so we're doing some late night streams. This is a new card here. We don't know what this one is. It's like the best card in the deck. And I'm just going to play out Lingering Souls, I think. Well, what can my opponent have? My opponent could be sitting on Wrench Mind, but they would have cast it. But yeah, I think I'm just going to hold on to this stub because they can't, they can't go like, they have to go land in Snaring Bridge to get me. Yeah. Get out of here. <sighs> opponent slaughter packs this. So hopefully we get to be on the draw again. Maybe our opponent will mess it up. I wonder if this Kataki is worth it. Or if that's just like pure shenanigans. It's probably shenanigans. Yeah, we're just going to run this back. <clears throat> I hope everybody in the stream is having a good Saturday. So this is a turn two Death Shadow. Really aggressive. I think I'm going to keep this hand. Again, we just don't want to mulligan. My opponent took the play also, which is nice. You just really don't want to mulligan against discard decks. My, my opponent plays a rack on one. All right. We take nothing. All right. So fetch, watery grave, cycle street wraith, and pass. Play out two death shadows next turn, which is pretty sweet. They choose, so a good 8-rack player chooses to draw all the time. So, like, if you think about it, this deck wants to draw. Therefore, if the deck wants to draw, then it always wins the die roll, right? Because every other deck wants to play. All right, so we're going to hit this, untap, and play a bunch of Death Shadows. A Liliana would be annoying. Wrench mind. So this gets, that's going to resolve. I think I discard two lands in the Traverse. Yeah, they, they want to draw. I could just discard the Godless Shrine. Because the Lingering Soul is like pretty much better in my... So one, two... Yeah, I'm going to keep this around. I'm going to ditch the Godless Shrine because we want to get red and then we also need to get green. So 
So this gets black red, then this gets overgrown tomb, and then we get our death shadow on. And hopefully we draw a stub. Drawing a stub would be sweet. Yeah, so that's probably the only one of the only reasons why the deck's good, in my opinion. All right, that's not a bad draw. So let's look here and see what our opponent's got. Again, we'll take this smallpox because we can deal with the ensnaring bridge. And we have delirium. Because imagine like how good your modern deck would be if you were on the play 100% of the games. That's what this deck this that's what this deck gets to do. So if we draw a fetch land, no, nah, opponent doesn't die. Well, yeah, if we draw a fetch land, our opponent dies. Because I'm going to take three, I'm going to take two. Yeah, if we draw a fetch land, our opponent's dead as a doorknob. Because we're going to take two from this, which makes these six sixes. Fetch land makes them nine nines. Traverse for a street wraith makes them ten tens. So our opponent is... As long as they like, if, if they play Ensnaring Bridge or something like that, if they leave Mute Vault back, because this doesn't become an artifact, right? That's Mistress Factory that does that. Yeah, so I can't smoke this with a Ancient Grudge. What a joke. My opponent's just tanking here. I mean, they're in a tough spot. Because, like, now they're in a squeeze where... Yeah, they thought sees that. Okay. So now they can't play... Well, it doesn't necessarily kill them. If we draw a fetch land, it kills them. Because we're taking three, which makes these sevens. Take three more, it makes them tens. We know our opponent's hand. They can block next turn, so we have to be careful. So they're going to play the bridge. Okay. Interesting. So we get rid of this bridge. We attack for seven, puts them to nine, and then both my death shadows are lethal because we're going to take two from the rack. Yeah. Because we can't, we can't take two from this and take... We can't take two from this, so we're going to take two from here. Alternatively, if we just attack with both, then our opponent goes to two, and then both of them are lethal, so we beat a removal spell. This line doesn't necessarily... I guess we don't beat a removal spell anyways. So not beating a removal spell, so we should just attack with these, with both of them. Interesting game. Okay, opponent drew a land, so we got it. There's top deck of land. All right, I'm gonna go grab another beer, and then I will be back. Get everybody.
Yeah, man, that's a roan. One O is a roan. Dude, LeBron James is a god. I'm just watching like a little highlight reel of LeBron that Barstool Sports posted here on Twitter. And it's just like, what a freak. Just like, what an absolute freak of nature that guy is. The fact that he's in his 30s and he's like, he's been playing, not only has he been playing like 15 years, but he's been playing like, more seasons than that because he plays into the playoffs every year. He goes to the finals every year. This guy's played like 16 seasons if you count all of his playoff games, probably. This guy's disgusting. Uh, this hand's good. Yeah, we just, we're just going to play like the Jun game now. Probably fetch for a Blood Crypt on one because we don't really want to draw any more lands. Then lead off with an Inquisition. LeBron James. Are you from the States, Radial? Jitterbug, Nobody heard about him. Okay, you from? Uh, where are you from? You you went out out in another another part of this world. Okay, my opponent's giving us priority. Let's go get our blood crypt. We'll take serum visions because it'll take two bolts to kill our, our opponent, kill Tomagoy, which is worth it. We're playing against a Grixis control deck. We'll be able to watch the Jun deck flash its muscles. Live in Spain, nice. Never been. I've never been to Europe. It is on my list. My wife has been to. Uh, my wife's. Oh, don't do it. Don't bolt my time, my wife. Oh, God. Opponent's going to learn the hard way. This is just not how this works. My wife... Yep. Yeah. Well, they just bolt... They bolted me. No, they bolted themselves. Oh, so they're a Death Shadow deck. Okay. It's a weird Death Shadow deck to have two Lightning Bolts, but, you know, whatever you want to do. So they bolt themselves again, or they bolt, they bolt to the Tarmogoyf. Oh, now they're going to play a Delve card? Oh, okay. Whatever, like, what do they play last time they played Bloodstained Mire? We still basically got a lot of value out of that Tarmogoyf, because it took my opponent a couple cards. No, I think my opponent's just like a Grixis control deck. Yeah, because they, they have three lightning bolts. There's no way they're a Death Shadow deck. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, we'll start off with this. Yeah, so okay, they're definitely... I'm going to fetch a basic... 
They're definitely the Shadow Deck. And we're ahead right now. Play our cute little 1-1. One, one. It's got to suck if my opponent has a Colgon's Command. Or they just drew a Fatal Push. Okay. And then next turn, we'll just double stone rain them. We'll go black spells versus red spells. I guess next turn, I'll just double stone rain them anyways. Uh, we're going to shock ourselves, but... Now I don't really want to do this because we don't have an edict available. Like it gives our opponent a chance to top deck something. So I think I just want to go up one more time and then eat it next turn so that I can go like, I can go minus six, double stone rain, and then have an edict available. Okay, put it up. Hey, Nathan, how's it going? This is fair modern magic. I finished, uh, what did I do with this? Put it on the bottom. I finished 18th in the challenge today, Nathan. Missed out on breakers. All right, Pawn's got himself a death shadow. Ooh, my main man. Can't complain. I went and saw Star Wars tonight. Have you seen Star Wars yet, Nathan? So my opponent's a death shadow deck with three lightning bolts. But I haven't seen a Street Wraith yet, so maybe that's like their Street Wraith substitution. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cast this. Because Street Wraith is gas in the mirror. Because you can't block this thing, it's like True Name Nemesis. Okay, no spoilers, okay. Getting a full retail dismember, Oh man. Okay, so true day nemesis. So it's not true day nemesis. Yeah. So the the five and twos went all the way from ninth to twenty seventh. All right, we're gonna get rid of these. I want all of my grindy elements, and then everything that can. Kill a Delve card. So I have to board out A-Land. We'll get rid of one of these. And then I'll ditch a Fatal Push. So my opponent doesn't have as many targets. Grim Flare should be a little worse in these matchups. Because it just gets outclassed. Like Tarmogoyf sometimes is bigger than the Delve cards. But Grim Flare really never is. Played the mono red, Nathan, and went. We're gonna ship this. Went. Uh, what was I gonna say? Went three and two in two leagues. God, we're just dead now. We can't. We can't win this. We need this land to cast Liliana, but it's not gonna be in our hand. So we we just need spells. There's the street reds. So I both just got three lightning bolts. There goes our Planeswalker. It took abrupt decay. Yeah, there's not really much we can do here. 
they have like a death shadow, this is gonna suck. It'd be a 12 minus 4, it'd be a 4-4. Four, four. That's just precisely what's gonna happen here. It took Traverse too, which means they either have a stubborn denial or another dad. This is just savage. Play this, get this tapped. Probably get Overgrown Tomb. Well, at least we can get a spell. Jesus. I'm just going to take Snapcaster Mage. When in doubt, take the snap. We get a tap land. Tap Godless Shrine. I think I'm going to play this list tomorrow in the PTQ. Especially if I can hang it with this deck. With the Grim Flares, then I'm feeling pretty confident. I put a card on top, which is bad. This probably means it's a land to answer this Liliana. Top, top. There's that. Great. That was a, not a bad succession of draws from our opponent. This goes and gets Godless Shrine. We're pretty much dead to any effect that does damage to my opponent. Might as well see what they kept on top. Stub, so... We need to hit, like, Fatal Push right here. And then Abrupt Decay. Our only Decay is in the yard. Yeah. We did. And you mulligan a 5 in these... In these, uh... Death Shadow Mirrors, and it's, it's just all over. There is no coming back from that. But it just took me out behind the woodshed and beat the shit out of me. Um, seriously, did you make it home safe, Nathan? Your drive was good. Probably gonna play one league tonight, then call it a night. All right, we'll keep this. I'm actually gonna play the Overgrown Tomb first because I don't know if I want this to be. I mean, it's probably gonna be Godless Shrine because we're pretty much a junk deck at this point. Yeah, all our red and green cards in the graveyard or in the in the sideboard. You drive or fly, Nathan. All right, now my opponent gets a taste of the mulligan. And they put a card on the bottom. Thoughtscour, Thoughtscour, Snapcaster Mage, Engineered Explosives. Take Snapcaster. When in doubt, take the Snapcaster. He's running a car, Nathan. Yeah, I can see that. A godless shrine with this. Yeah, Brandon. What'd you drive? So my opponent kills this, and then I can, or they're going to play Engineer Explosives for two. Ah, that's interesting. I would have thought Scoured there, because it fills your graveyard up for Delve, and also you don't need a card right then. Alright, it's just Fatal Push. Alright, there's our main man.
If our opponent lets in Lightning Bolt, it's going to be vulnerable to that, but... Hopefully it didn't gouge you too bad. Two two looking strong. This is for the uh, it's for the combo decks. Like that's why I, I got this. I was really impressed with this against Tron and Scapeshift, and just like the non-interactive parts against of uh, modern. But this is just like embarrassing in this situation. Like my opponent has a K command. I'm just dead. And that's just because you're like old enough, right? Uh, take it easy, radio. We'll be on tomorrow morning playing in a PTQ. Again, they're showing us different cards than they have. It's your birthday tomorrow, right, Nathan? God, don't play Liliana, please. Weird. See if my opponent kills this, then I can traverse. I guess if, even if they kill this, it still wouldn't grow. Okay. So I can push this, get an instant in my graveyard, and then traverse, get Death Shadow into play. It does kind of suck having to traverse for a land. If that's the case, I'm just going to traverse for Tomagoyf. I really just don't. I want to. I'm going to lose life anyways. I want to keep this as a resource for just another threat. I don't want to. I really, I really hate traversing for lands. Well, Nathan, what do you want for your birthday? When we get back, when you get back here. Are you finally, like, maybe I'll give you a win in a sanctioned matchup? Oh, here comes a delve. They play the Bloodstained Mire. Gross. For your birthday, Nathan, I think that's a great, a great gift from me. I need him. All right, that's a pretty good draw. Because that lets me put out two threats. So might as well just get another Overgrown Tomb. And then play Tarmogoyf. And play Death Shadow. I'm a little nervous, and that's partially because of my configuration. Guy, he's got a lightning bolt. No, what is this? A Coligon's command? God, I'm gonna fucking throw up. That's exactly what this is, and they're gonna get back a Snapcaster Mage. Basically just shock, got back Snapcaster, okay. Nathan, do you need Dominion? Is that what you need? So here comes an explosives. Yep, they pop it. So 
So, Tarmogoyf's a 5-6, Death Shadow's a 4-4. Four, four. So I think I'm just going to traverse for a Tarmogoyf. My opponent's got a Snapcaster as their last card. And then one more I don't know about. Hopefully it's a dud. Play this in my opponent's turn. Dismember, okay. That just means I can't block. My opponent can go dismember, snap, dismember if they want to. Thoughts go. So you have Snapcaster, Dismember, Rando. So Snapcaster and Dismember. Not gonna block. So that's not bad. Problem is I can't cast both of these. So we're gonna go like this. My opponent probably, no that just leaves me dead. I guess it doesn't leave me dead, so hang on. It leaves me dead to snap. Uh, either of these leave me dead to snap Colgon's command unless I thought sees right now. Thought sees abrupt decay block. It's pretty bad. Oh, we're in a tough spot. Because if I take two more damage, my opponent just snap Colgon's commands me. And that kills me. Jamming Storm. Just because it's like Dominion. You already got it. Awesome, Nathan. So what's the right play here? My opponent can go Snap Stub. Then I lose my Tarmogoyf to this Tassiger. And then I Decay. And that's probably the best play that I have. And I have to take. <laughs> That's what you're about. And then I have to block this next turn. Yeah, Storm's the best combo deck in modern. So this means that I also can Street Wraith. And I can't win. I'm going to take Opt. Wow, if they take an Opt, that's awesome. So they're going to let me get rid of this Dismember. Which I'll take. And I go down two. And then we hold back. And I just abrupt decay this Snapcaster and hope my opponent misses. I don't think this is the right line of play for my opponent. Because they know I have Snapcaster Mage. They, I, they know that I know they have Snapcaster. They should fetch first. Yep. Put a card on top. That's probably bad. So block here, decay this. Unless they push. So now we hope they don't have a removal spell. They were five. Liliana. GG's opponent. GG's. And we built our deck to be a little worse in this matchup. Like the Grim Flares are not great here because they just they just get brick walled. I lost the Tron in the challenge today, Nathan, in which I made a mistake, which pissed me off. That's an anti-Rone. 
God, that frustrated me. I totally tossed it, too. So, like, I needed... So, basically, Nathan, here's what's happening. I've got a Death Shadow and a Tarmogoyf in play, and I need to do three damage to myself. Okay? I top deck a fetch land, which should kill my opponent. Okay? The problem is I boarded out a shock land to board in a ghost quarter. So I no longer have a fetchable shock. The sad thing is, is that if I would I had a shock land in my hand and a Liliana in play, if I tick up the Liliana, discard my fetch land, play my shock land, it's enough. It's literally, that's the three points I need, because it grows Tarmor Life 1 and deals me two damage. But I just was so excited when I drew the fetch land that I made the mistake. I'm going to keep this hand, because we can traverse on two if we need to. And it's just hyper disruptive. But oh my gosh, it killed me. We're going to play Death Shadow again? Is that what we're doing here? Yeah, I just thought that there was another Shockland. That's a, like the best draw in my deck. Turns out there wasn't. Maybe we have Overgrown Tomb. All right. Um, where my opponent go? They went bottom top. So I think they put a discard spell on top. That would make sense. So I think I'm just going to take this stub. The problem is if I take this stubborn denial, I'm going to take... I think they put a discard spell on top. But I'm just going to take... I guess I take Dismember. Yeah. You're a B-lister. More ha Hey, I love Hazaret. Like, I, I'm starting to, like, come around on your... Love for Hazard, Nathan. Scalding Tarn. But this is a Delve card that's pretty bad for the home team. But if it's just Cycle and then play Death Shadow with Stub Up, we're alright with that. Oh, it's a Delve card. Oh, that's vomit inducing. There's Grim Flare. I think it is good. I think it's good in a. So, let me just think here. I think it's good in a modern format. I should think. So, go to 12, decay this. Alternatively, go to 14, decay this. I think going to 14, decaying is better. We're going to hit the brakes. I think it's really good in like a Jund style deck, you know? Like if I was playing Jund or if I was playing Death Shadow without the blue cards, I would play as many Hazreds as I can get my hands on, I think. Thought Scour. Well, they hit three good spells. So we know they have another land. Crack me. So that gives me Delirium, which lets me play my own Death Shadow. The problem is they'll just stub it. So I guess I'm just going to play Grim Flare. Alternatively, I can Thought Seize. Go get my own Death Shadow. Yeah, so let's go like this. That's like a fantastic draw. So let's thought seize them. I will. The problem is that what I what I just hated with the blue spells, Nathan. So they stub this, this is gonna be kind of annoying. So what would they want to protect? I haven't drawn a land yet, so I can go to... The problem is I have to go to two to do this. If I get Fatal Pushed, that's pretty bad. But it would put them on Fatal Push instead of the last card. Yeah, I think I'm just going to... 
my opponent puts me to two, then my death shadow is huge. All right, at least I'm glad we pegged it. Then I can play a death shadow and traverse for a death shadow. I think that's the way you have to build it, Nathan. Yeah. So I think I'm going to traverse for the watery grave. Play it tapped, and then play my Death Shadow. So the next turn I have Stub up, and hope my opponent doesn't kill me. And I'm just going to give them, I think I'll give them Thought Scour or Stub in Denial, one of the two. Now I'll give them Tasker. But you know how that works, though, with like... I mean, I guess, I guess from the mono red experience, you know, like, don't kill my death shadow. Let me untap. Say suck it in chat. I'm not going to do that. So this is good either way. My opponent's last card is Tasker, so I'm going to be able to get in with this death shadow no matter what. I liked Hazard and John. I played like two scavenging oozes, two rabble masters, and two whatever it is. They took the stub. That's impressive. Last card's Tassiger. We will not pay any life. So much happened for only five turns. Opponent scoops him up. Okay. Okay, so we want Lingering Souls again. We want this. We want this. We want this. We'll ditch that. Maybe I'll ditch a Grim Flare. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Grim Flare. We'll keep the Fatal Pushes in. Uh oh. Nathan, Gabby Sparks tweeted a picture of her and Luis at an unstable draft. For everybody in the chat that doesn't know, Pillow Pala's love obsession, love obsession, yeah, is Gabby Sparks. Keep this. My opponent thought seizes me, I'm gonna cycle Street Wraith, okay. Okay. It's gonna be an overgrown tomb. Cycle Street Wraith thought sees our opponent. Your time will come. It's going to happen. You gonna get out there to Chicago, Nathan. I don't know, so they cycle. So they have the same idea going that I did. All right, we're going to take Liliana. I love, I really like taking Snapcaster most of the time that I play this deck, but Liliana is a huge problem, and each one of them are a two-for-one. She better comes DC. Hit command and fatal push. Now the Snapcaster Mage is a removal spell. So I'll have to find another discard spell. God, don't draw. Put an ops. God, they're probably looking for a delve card if I had to assume. They put a card on top, which makes me think they found. Damn it. Play that shadow. Don't play a delve card. Oh, it's a thought seize. That's fine. Annoying. So my opponent has to take traverse, probably, because they can answer the death shadow. Yeah. The death shadow also keeps this offline. That's a pretty good draw. 
My opponent is going to be able to snap push it, but then we can push this back and go get our own Death Shadow. So I guess I'll get Godless Shrine. And play a Tarmogoyf. Snapcaster Mage is going to be Gas. Hey, it's it's 249, Nathan. Give me some credit. Give me some credit, my friend. Give me some credit. Again, my opponent is choosing to show me a fetch land they don't have. So this is probably snap push, if I had to assume. Yeah. So now I push this. Probably shock myself and traverse for a death shadow. They have Thought Scour Tarn still. That's pretty good. <laughs> Dude, you gotta watch out for asbestos. I'm going to get Watery Grave to give my opponent something to think about. I don't have any blue cards in my deck, but it's important to make them think. To let them know anything could happen. Dang, there goes my second Death Shadow. There's the Thought Scour. This gets pushed, okay. Oh, baby. Gasoline. God, I love Lingering Souls. I don't think there's a card in all of Magic that warms my heart like Lingering Souls does. <laughs> I'm going to leave this land in my hand so if my opponent draws a K command, they can't get rid of this decay. Nathan, you're so funny. And again, we'll leave up the white to give my opponent something to think about. Oh, it's fetching. They're they're going for it. I'm gonna guess that you're miserable to play against Nathan. Wow, they just fetch and like forget to fail to find. Nice. I remember that par that point we didn't have to take. God, get out of here, Death Shadow Grix's Death Shadow. Actually, I'm gonna go grab another beer while we're waiting here. Nathan, if you get if you get the time, you really should Snapchat a picture of Jackson to Megan. She'd really appreciate that. She consistently tells me how she's excited to see Jackson in the new year. Okay, good. Glad you're you're on top of it. I'm gonna keep this hand. We don't have a discard spell, but it's pretty explosive. If our opponent gives us a target for this dismember on turn one, we are off to the races. Yeah, she would appreciate that. I took a stream break a couple times today to give her a call. Post names I like turtles. Nice. 
Well, we'll start off with the Bloodstained Liar, because when you have the Breeding Pool, it's the worst land in your deck. Opponent's got their own. <laughs> so you miserable to play with? <laughs> All right, I'm assuming we're playing against Grixis Death Shadow again. <laughs> I see a target. Give me something to dismember. Are right, we playing against Burn? We're playing against like the, the dumb Mardu Pyromancer deck. Alright, we're playing against Burn. Alright, that's not bad. Then we're going to play out Death Shadow and Tarmogoyf. Then if my opponent clears the board here, we stay at a high life total, and we've got um, another one here. This is interesting. I love playing against Burn. It just like it's most times just fun magic. Six viewers. I'm glad everybody is uh, showing up to hang out tonight. I hope everyone's having a good Saturday night. Ooh, going upstairs. So we go to six here. Which makes this a seven, makes Tarma with a three. So we have 14, 17. So my opponent doesn't kill me here. There's a pretty high likely I think that they just die. Because this right here is 17. Would like to draw a Shockland or a Street Wraith. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Oh, there we go with the. Looks uh, like it's getting kind of serious. Oh, thank you very much, Nathan. I appreciate that. Let's get, you know, for all of us, that right there. That is what it's all about. Thank you very much, Nathan. So, what do I do? So I don't think that my opponent has two of these, but I'm pretty sure that they because this is 14-17. Dismember, the Tarma Wife puts me to two. But I can't dismember, because I'm pretty sure my opponents can kill me next turn. So, I probably just attack with a Death Shadow and pass with Stubborn Denial and Abrupt Decay open. Because then it takes three cards for my opponent to kill me. Just hold back with Tarma Wife. Uh, hyped up for Nathan with his subscription. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. To tell you the truth, you learn you learn stuff every day. We let that happen. You need two burn spells, bud.
okay upkeep stub it you get another one the turtle man has got it looks like thing looks like it's getting kind of serious Nathan you're gonna have to ask me we're gonna have to have like a chat tomorrow after you watch Star Wars we're gonna have to we're gonna have to talk about it so again I'll I like cutting two of these and one of these here and then getting back into it I didn't like Kozlak's return so maelstrom pulse isn't gonna be good next month will be Roan AF everyone in the chat if you want to be part of the Roan here you're gonna have to subscribe Nathan how when I so when I first started like playing magic one of my best buddies used to say that um, whenever anything good happened to magic it was the Roan and that's where that came from man Yo, Nathan, I tell you, I got a copyright claim on me for YouTube. Got 35 emails from YouTube today. They were just all up in my shit today. No, it wasn't like a cease and desist. It was so like I, I used a uh, Nightbot music player, okay, and I assumed that like the music that came with the Nightbot app, Nightbot app was good. And it said, uh, "Hi, Dylan, have a copyright owner using content ID claims some material in your video. This is just a heads up. Don't worry, you're not in trouble, and your account standing is not affected by this." There are either ads running on your video with revenue going to the copyright owner or the copyright owner is receiving stats about your video views. So what's next? If there are no problems, you don't need to take any action. You don't need to delete your video, etc., etc. So that's pretty much where we're at. Get Snapchat. The problem is if I get Snapchat, I use too much data. All right, we're gonna keep this. This hand, we, we have no idea what's gonna happen, but we know we like these three cards. Let's look at some non-copyrighted music and then get a playlist. Hey, it's easier said than done, man. So I want the second land, probably, well, I don't even think I do. Let's see what my opponent's got on top. Wooded foothills. I'll record a mixtape. I I threatened my chat today. I'm gonna see what this is. We have a traverse on top. So we're gonna have delirium, so that traverse is gonna be gas. Alright, Searing Blaze, Eidolon, Boros Charm. I'm gonna take Boros Charm. Okay, so there's our land and our Liliana. We'll play Death Shadow and we won't cycle the Street Wraith. <coughs> A 
very luby Christmas. Hey viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time here. We're just playing some modern today. Got 18th in the challenge today with this deck list, plus or minus a couple cards. I think I'm going to switch something around and do something a little different tomorrow. Probably just adding another Grim Flare, honestly. That card overperformed today. No, because Searing Blaze does damage to me and it grows Death Shadow. Noob. We played a mountain. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll play my own Liliana. Edict my opponent. And then I think I'm still going to hold on to this Street Wraith because I'm going to do 4 damage to myself next turn. Death Shadow is a weird card. And sometimes you just randomly get percentage points because people don't understand how to play around it. There's a Swift Spear. Okay. Bloodstain Meyer. So I think they have one more Meyer. So if they play. Okay, Eidolon. So this goes to Liliana. Excuse me, Delirium. Stub is a great draw. So I'm going to play Death Shadow. Traverse play puts me to five. I attack. <laughs> you better not lose. We're in a we're in a bit of a nervous spot, to tell you the truth. I've only got three cards. We know two of them. We'll pass. I'm not sure my opponent can attack. Okay. Opponent goes a four. Ooh, that kills me on the dot, doesn't it? Nathan, we're going to lose. So I block this. My opponent searing blazes. All this resolves. Because then this deals three to me and these do four. Yep, we got burned. You're having trouble with my Twitch interface. What do you mean, Nathan? Do describe. How do I unsubscribe? You don't ever. God, we're not even going to, like, make any money on this stream. So what are we playing against? We lost a, we beat some random deck that sucked. We lost to Grixis, beat Grixis, then lost to Burn. Yeah, you just don't. Once you subscribe, you're subscribed forever. I get your money for the rest of eternity. be the last match of the night here. I'm going to watch some YouTube after this. And then crash. Then be up here at 12.05 tomorrow for the PDQ.
streaming the PTQ all day tomorrow. Hopefully we get some love in that stream. All right, I'm going to keep this. If my opponent thought seizes me, I'll cycle the Street Wraith more than likely. Do you uh, get any of the unstable lands yet, Nathan? God, Mulligan of five. What a guy. What a guy. He's hooking me up. Looks like the opponent kept the no land heater. Land. There we go. Oh, look at that. Holy shnikes. So cheer and lock three gifts for others. I don't really know what the gifts are about, but if other people want gifts, they should go for it. There's Nathan and all of his cheers. What other lands are you talking about, Nathan? My opponent should probably concede. I think they're going to concede. Yep. Oh, the Rebecca Gay, <laughs> the Rebecca Gay ones. All right, we're going to sideboard in the dark. We're going to assume our opponent is a combo deck. So let's get these in. Let's get these in, and this is what we're going to do here. Again, thank you very much for the bits. I'm getting pretty close to getting my first Twitch check here. Month. Let's go back to January. Yeah, look at that. We are we are getting close. I don't know. I got an email about it, but I didn't really understand. So Twitch. Right here, let me look at my deleted. Let's look at the trash. I know that someone in the chat can take advantage of it every time you give something. It's pretty much like Oprah just throwing out, like, you get free stuff, and you get free stuff, and you get free stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to ship this. We don't have a discard spell. I'll keep this one. We don't have a discard spell again, but we'll put that on top. It's a Twitch. This hall. Okay, ready? So, happy Twitch affiliates through December 26th. Viewers cheer on your channel. We'll not only support you, Zoom, but we'll also receive one of two holiday gifts, depending on the number of bits they cheer. Regular holiday gifts are guaranteed to have one complete set of seven temporary holiday emotes. So now you get to have holiday emotes, I think. Gold holiday gifts will have a second complete set. So you basically get emote. Like, here's what the emotes look like, Nathan, that I think you can use now. Oh, okay, so we're playing against Adnaz, so we did guess right. I think you have you you have access to these emotes now whenever you give gifts. I don't know how it hooks up other people, but alas, it does in some way, shape, or form. So I need to move this. So I need this here. Oh god, we're tweaking out everywhere today. There we no, come on. Oh god, we're just like going nuts over here. There we go. So my opponent, we did guess right. Did they exile a Lotus Bloom? Yeah, they did. So this is going to be important. Let's do this first. 
Discard spell would be good. That is not a discard spell. It's got two time counters on it. Hey, thanks, Dark Se Darkling Seven. Appreciate all the support. Why? Where did this? Where did this go? Here. Ugh. My opponent's gonna scry. I will stub a cantrip here. I like using stubs on anything. It's like it's a tempo play. Watery Grave, then we're going to get Overgrown Tomb, Bobble's alright, so that makes Tarmogoyf a 4-5, but it's also going to make Grim Flare not necessarily a 4-4, so now I think I'm going to play Tarmogoyf, what, Godhead of Awe, what is Godhead of Awe, why can't I see it, oh it's right here, it's this one, Oh, so this is like Moat, but a creature. It's pretty cool, I guess. So I guess I actually can just play Grim Flare this turn and play Tarmogoyf next turn while having um while having interaction up. Cause the Lotus Bloom's not gonna come off suspend yet. That's good. We can edict this thing. That's another pretty good one. Oh, okay. Oh, because it becomes a 1-1, one, one, and then if I'm at 1-1, one, one, yep. Look at that. Destroy target land. I, I can appreciate that. So I'm gonna stub their land. Um, I think I want this abrupt decay in case my opponent lands a whatever it is at some point. The the enchantment, the arena. It's not gonna grow my my Grim Flare is gonna grow anyways with the stubborn denial. And then next turn we'll just go hog wild with uh, Liliana probably, or abrupt decay. What is this? My opponent's going to spoil. I think we let this happen. Because we get punished, our opponent's got packed negation. Maybe I should have stubbed it for that reason. But I'm not exactly sure. So our opponent goes to five, and they found their Angel's Grace, okay. So I guess on now, I'm definitely going to stub this. Whatever, dismiss all. So my opponent needs to have three of four cards that are perfect. Yeah, I think it just becomes humility, Nathan. It's like humility on a stick. So they have packed Angel's Grace. So three out of the five cards are perfect. Then we, we're in trouble. All right. Nathan, we're opening this chest for you, bud. This loss of value is all for you, Nathan.
All right, we'll sell this. What a savage. New binder. <sighs> he needs it right now. Look at this. We have like a responsible man here. Booster God. On stream. All right, so. Two tickets right here to paradise. <laughs> what a guy filling up that tip jar. I guess I should find some non copyrighted music to play tomorrow. All right. Again, thank you, everybody. We'll be playing this Death Shadow deck, give or take a couple of cards tomorrow morning. So I hope everyone, excuse me, has a great rest of their night. And again, thank you very much for the cheers, Nathan. What an honest man. So we'll see everybody tomorrow around, uh, we'll get on here about 12.00. About noon tomorrow. Noon tomorrow, twitch.tv slash dhub317. I hope everyone has a great rest of the day.